Hi, I'm Allie. And I'm Becky. We are registered dietitians that are passionate about food as medicine. In today's video, we are going to be talking about four ways to ketofy your holidays and stay on track through the holiday season. Yes. So unfortunately, research shows that an individual can gain about three to seven pounds during the holiday season. So once those candy bowls fill with Halloween candy, we can ride that slump all the way through New Year's Eve. And those choices not only can drive body fat gain, which is undesirable, but it can also put us in a pro-inflammatory state, as well as throw off our microbiome and drive whole body dysfunction. So the good news is you can use food as medicine and choose supporting foods that actually enhance your metabolism, reduce inflammation, and still have a really fantastic time at all of your gatherings. Right, and maybe inspire some family members to clean up their eating by sharing your favorite low-carb dishes too. And look good at all those holiday gatherings. Right, there's that too. So that your New Year's resolution doesn't have to be to lose the 10 pounds that you put on over the holidays. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> Let's kick off with just kind of some general guidance of how we approach a holiday meal. Yeah, so when I think of holiday eating, I first think of like roasted meats, like a turkey and such. And one of our big philosophies as food as medicine approaches to consuming animal proteins is a snout to tail philosophy or eating the whole animal. So I'm always going to incorporate the giblets or the organs of my animal into things like gravy or a grain-free stuffing. I'm always going to use the carcass or the bones left over from a roast to make bone broth broth. This is both going to save us money, but it's also going to provide us a good rounded out nutritional profile. We actually get favorable amino acids like glycine and glutamine to support body fat burn, relaxation from stress, which is needed for sure, as well as supporting our gut integrity. And when we're thinking through our holiday menu, I like to think of wherever we can to sub out the starches for non-starchy veggies. So instead of going for stuffing, or as some might call it dressing down here in Texas, mm -hmm. uh, going for something like our twice baked cauliflower mash would be a fantastic alternative that is chock full of fiber and phyto compounds to really help with that volume and satiety. Yes, and swapping out a bed of grains mm -hmm. for a bed of greens. Absolutely. For sure. The third thing that I think about is if you are going to have a mindful indulgence or a dessert type item, we want you to choose nut flours to go grain free. Nut flours are going to be more dense in B vitamins as well as minerals and fiber and also are less inflammatory for the body. So beyond going gluten free, a nut flour is going to have more protein and fat, less refined carbohydrates, which also keeps that glycemic index in check. So you'll see on our blog recipes like the upside down mango cake, which is really fantastic for like an Easter gathering or something in a spring festivity, maybe a baby shower. Uh, we also look at things like our thumbprint almond flour based cookies from the anti-anxiety diet, which is really fantastic in the winter holiday season. And then instead of going into the world of keto desserts that might use non-caloric sweeteners that we do not want to mess with throughout the holiday season, channeling savory and going for the cheese plate or the charcuterie board, maybe some olives on your plate, um, things like our keto cheddar biscuits, I think could be a fantastic addition to your meal. Yes, and I love in the holiday season those herb roasted nuts yeah. with that kick yep. of cayenne. We use a little bit of robust maple, so that does create that caramelization and kind of candying effect, but there's fresh rosemary and herbs, so that really kicks up the flavor. The non-caloric sweeteners really can throw off your cravings and keep you white knuckling through the holidays around candy. So the more that you can channel savory, I think the more sustained results you're gonna get and successful outcomes. All right, let's go through some maybe practical tips for navigating kind of the day of yes. a holiday. Yes, totally. So let's start with protein and why that's important. Yes, we really want to prioritize 
protein during the holidays, always, um, but protein is going to keep us satisfied. It's going to create that satiety. It's also going to support our lean body or our muscle mass and our metabolism. So oftentimes I will do a protein shake like the morning of Thanksgiving while prepping meals just to keep things really tight because you know that the meal later on is gonna be much more indulgent, a lot of calories consumed that can have you get your you know, 25-ish grams of protein in with a scoop of grass-fed whey. Maybe you even put your leafy greens in there and some healthy fats. And you can check out one of our favorite keto protein recipes below. So beyond protein to support metabolism, we're looking at healthy, quality, whole food fats as a focus. Fats also, just like protein, aid in balancing our blood sugar levels. So we want to avoid naked carbs or a carbohydrate consumed on its own. When you add a protein or a fat to a carbohydrate, that kind of sits like a lid on a jar and reduces that glycemic index or the rate at which your blood sugar spikes and then crashes leading to perpetual cravings and more body fat gain. So fats are your friend during the holiday season. You might consider starting your day off with a fat fast, like a fat-fueled coffee. You can check out the video here on different forms of fasting. And then incorporating whole foods like avocado, maybe bringing guacamole to a celebration, aiming for those charcuterie plates, or making our recipe for parm crisps, which is on the blog as well. So some other great ideas would be doing our cucumber cups with a nice salty briny olive tapenade in them. Mm. And that's a really fun shareable appetizer you can make ahead and bring to a gathering or pairing a nice crudite with that guacamole or another dip that you mentioned like our spinach artichoke dip. That would be yes, delicious. That's a favorite. And you're incorporating greens, so bonus points there. Um, or doing something like our braised greens as a side dish, which can be really nice around the holidays with like those mustard greens and kale and kind of heartier winter greens. And then the fourth tip for the day of celebrations is to swap out cocktails for some mocktails and stay hydrated. Research shows that metabolism can be hindered up to 70% with just two glasses of wine consumed. And that's for two reasons. One is when we're dehydrated, we're lacking the fluid or the water in our body to support lipolysis. Lipolysis is actually the metabolic process in which we require water to lyse or break our fat cells. Also, we know that when we're drinking alcohol, our liver is taxed or burdened with the detox process. And the liver, remember, in a ketogenic diet is your primary fat burning organ. The liver is the organ that makes ketones. So when your liver is distracted from detoxifying, then it does not do a good job with blood sugar regulation or ketone production. So one way to navigate around this is to, between each alcoholic beverage, do a spritzer. So this is just sparkling water with a splash, like a tablespoon or two of pomegranate juice, which provides some nice antioxidants, and then some basil muddled in there with ice. You could also just do sparkling water or still water, of course. And the big pro tip is to layer in the Reset, Restore, Renew detox packs. So these have compounds to support both phase one, that liver gallbladder activation of toxins, as well as three of the compounds in here to support phase two detoxification. That's these white pills here. Those aid in actually encapsulating and excreting the toxins. And then there is an antioxidant blend. So taking a pack of these before the party and a pack at bed will help you wake up for a more pleasant morning and also have less inhibition in your ability to burn body fat. Yes, we even put them on every place setting at our Thanksgiving gathering. Yes. And there was a bowl of them next to the bar at Stella's birthday party for the adults. Absolutely. So we hope that you found some benefits from these tips. Put a comment below on the biggest aha or realization that you have or what your commitments are to navigate this holiday season. And make sure that you subscribe to the Naturally Nourished YouTube channel to stay on top of all of our tips, tricks, and food is medicine recipes. that kind of sits like a lid on the jar and doesn't allow a dynamic, dy <laughs> dynamic, also time out. <laughs>